Hello, I'm Shan Li. Let me show you how to draw the radar chart in this plugin called Figma NB Charts. Let's take a look. There are already some basic parameters here. Then I will draw one first to show you the result. First of all, please pay attention to the shape. In this background setting, the background shape of the radar chart is divided into polygon and circle. I will draw them separately later. We need to create a new frame. Then click the drawing button. The basic radar chart is finished quickly. I'll switch to circle. This is what the circular background looks like because polygonal radar charts are more common. In the following demonstrations, I will use radar charts with polygonal backgrounds as an example. Next, take a look at the quantity here. It refers to the number of separations. If we think of a polygonal radar chart as a spider web, then the more divisions there are, the denser the spider web will be. Click the drawing button. This is what it looks like when the quantity is 10. I'll change it back first. Next I will introduce the separation line. Turn this switch off, and it won't be displayed. Okay, this is what it looks like without separation line. I'll change its width and color. Draw again. Okay. I restore the settings. Let's take a look at the color block. Generally, setting it to zebra color will look better. Color blocks 1 minus 5 are in order from outside to inside. I'll change their color. Then click the drawing button. That's it. I'll change the color block back. Color blocks can also not be displayed. Next, I will introduce the data vertex. You can choose not to display text here, and you can also set the size and color of text. Take a look at this diagram. Vertex 1 is the vertex in the 12 o'clock direction. Then follow the clockwise direction, followed by data 2 minus 5. Here we can set the name and value of each vertex. So how to add a vertex? Click the plus sign to the right of the data vertex. A vertex is added. At the same time, the data will also increase by 1. Let's draw it again. Now, it's a hexagonal radar chart. Click here to delete vertices. Let's take a look at the data settings. Here you can fill in the real data value of each indicator. Let me change the parameters of the data line. Click on the color palette to change colors. For the area part we can set the gradient color. Click the small dot on the right to set the gradient color. Then click the drawing button. The color of the line changes to orange. The area inside has also changed to this gradient color. This point switch can be turned off. This is what it looks like without the dots. I ray ticket and set the parameters a bit more exaggeratedly. This is the drawing result. So what I just told you is a set of data. There is currently only data 1 under the data. Click the plus sign to the right of the data. And data 2 will appear. Click the drawing button. This is the radar chart of the two sets of data. Each set of data can individually set the lines and colors inside. I'll add another set of data. Okay, this is how to add multiple sets of data. This part of the tutorial is over. Thanks.